welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my series Liv's Holiday Menu. So if you haven't been following along, if you're just tuning in for the first time, I will link all the other videos in the series below. But last week we did some Starbucks copycat drinks. So I remade three drinks from the new Starbucks holiday menu. And I'm just so glad you guys enjoyed that video. I had so much fun filming it and creating those recipes. And I've just seen so many of you on Instagram sharing your coffee creations. Today we're making an appetizer. And I feel like appetizers are one of those things that you really just have to go like super decadent. So for us, normally we do like puff pastry type of things. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and I was inspired by Half Baked Harvest on Instagram because she makes these kind of like whipped feta type things. She did one with olives and then she did another one with like bacon and dates. And so I was thinking, okay, I'm gonna try and veganize this. So we are doing a whipped hummus and feta dip with caramelized candied dates and almonds on top. And then there is a hot maple drizzle and like chunks of toasted bread to dip it in. Honestly, it turned out so incredible. Like I cannot wait to make this for a holiday dinner with our families. I know they're gonna love this. You definitely don't have to be vegan to enjoy it. So I'm so excited to give you guys this recipe. Let's get into it. This is the vegan feta that I used. So you just wanna break that up into chunks, put it in your food processor. And then I also added in some vegan cream cheese for extra creaminess, the hummus, olive oil, dried thyme and dried oregano and then you want to process that until it is nice and smooth and whipped and creamy and it is so dreamy look at that texture so then just spoon that into your serving bowl and use a spoon to like swirl it around and make it look all pretty and then for the dates, you just want to make sure they're pitted and then chop them up and add them to your frying pan with some oil, your almonds, the brown sugar or maple syrup, and cinnamon. And just cook that for about five minutes on medium heat until it is nice and like sticky and caramelized. And then you can just set it aside to cool or you can transfer it to a little bowl to cool so that it doesn't stick to your pan. And then for the hot maple drizzle, just add the oil, maple syrup, and hot sauce to a little dish and stir it until it's combined. Last but not least, for the bread, just add your ripped up baguette to a baking sheet along with a drizzle of oil and a little bit of salt and pepper if you like. And then just bake that at about 400 Fahrenheit until it's nice and crispy and golden. And then to assemble the dip, you just want to add the little blobs of dates and almonds to the top, followed by the hot maple drizzle and the bread chunks. And I added on some sprouts for color because I had them, but that's totally optional. You don't have to do that. And that is it. This is honestly so good. The whipped like feta dip part is quite salty obviously because it's feta and then the dates with like maple syrup and everything are just so so sweet and so together they just like complement each other perfectly. So obviously you have to get a bite with everything on it. The bread is such a good touch but of course you could serve it with crackers as well. Mm. And the hot maple syrup mm. just ties it in so perfectly. I feel like this is just the most perfect combination of sweet and savory. I know you guys are going to love this and you definitely, definitely do not have to be vegan to enjoy this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you make this, definitely take a photo and tag me on Instagram. Again, I was inspired by Half Baked Harvest on Instagram to make this. And then I went on Pinterest and I was looking up like whipped feta recipes and I saw that some of them included hummus, which just adds a really nice kind of like garlicky flavor, which I think goes really well with the dates. So um, yeah, this turned out amazing. I know you guys are gonna love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, make sure Sure to give it a thumbs up and that is everything for me today i will see you all in the next one bye